The first noise I heard that made me nervous was a really heavy breathing. Like some big creature breathing really heavily, and that was concerning immediately. It sounded big. It roared. So logically, I'm in Africa, I'm in the mountains, and in my brain, it's a lion. And it just kept roaring, and it kept coming closer, and things were crashing around in the grass and I can see the trees and the bushes moving. It, it's that close, and I am trying to find out what the source is so I can prepare my death. And it was just terrifying, just waiting for it to come rolling out of the bushes at me. And I turned around, and I couldn't really see much until it moved, and I realized there was some baboons. They were definitely checking me out and kind of walking around the rock a little bit. Suddenly, it all came back to me, I guess hours of watching wildlife programs that baboons can roar like lions. They were agitated. I'm assuming it was because I was there. They started kind of fighting with each other. They weren't so curious. They were just kind of angry. It was scarier knowing that it was a baboon because I felt like a lion wouldn't be able to necessarily jump up onto the rock, but a baboon wouldn't really have a problem getting to where I was. So as soon as I started hearing these noises, and they were threatening noises, I packed up my bag, put my camera away, and by this time, I guess it had been an hour that I'd been sitting on the rock. And I had been texting my friends, trying to be casual, saying things like, hey, where are you guys? There's baboons. And, and then they were getting a little bit more frantic, like, what's going on? You know, I'm getting a little bit freaked out here. There's baboons everywhere. And, then I started swearing a little bit. I wasn't getting any response back ever. And that's when I figured that probably they were on the other side of the mountain and I couldn't get any reception with them. I can't even reach people in town anymore. 